Look, I think uh, there are two things to say about this. Number one, it's pretty clear, unless there's another inflation shock, which would probably be external uh, in form of energy or food or whatever, certainly not a wage price and spiral, it's pretty clear that they've, uh, they've done raising rents, which means the next move is down. Uh, you don't know, of course, when the next move is going to be, but you do know that you're on the top of the hill and the next move is down. Second thing I'd say is there has been a very strong creation of an alternative interpretation of inflation, which comes from papers done by the IMF and is being echoed by worthy economists around the world, which is that the inflation was essentially imported, a price shock, exogenous shock to the economy. It actually is working itself out as a relative price adjustment, and that uh, increasing rates further would simply uh, uh, depress the economy unnecessarily. In other words, what it's saying is that the economic uh, adjustment of the high inflation that we have seen is essentially a relative price adjustment, which simply holding your foot on the accelerator without putting your foot in the brake uh, will will mean that it'll work its way out of the system. So there is nothing further that needs to be done from a monetary point of view. Now, whether you agree or disagree with this uh, newfound, uh, I would say, uh, doctrine is another matter. Uh, it seems to me to exonerate central banks from the past for having caused that inflation by printing too much money. But it does at least create the room to say, well, as long as inflation is coming down, the price adjustment is taking place, we don't need to do anything further. I would not underestimate the importance in central bankers' minds of this new doctrine coming out of the IMF and being now propagated by practically every worthy institution around the world. I think it is yeah. oversimplistic, but there it is. All right, David, are you concerned that uh, central banks are, are uh, hitting pause and saying, look, uh, we're done because we really cannot do any more, otherwise it becomes counterproductive, uh, when, on the other hand, the fight against inflation is actually not over? Because I know you think that inflation is going to level off at about 3%. That, that's still a ways from where I think a lot of central banks would prefer it to be originally. Yes, but uh, look, the way that's going to be justified, and I would stick to my 3%, which I think is uh, already reflected in many asset prices. I don't think we're going to push inflation down to 2% anymore. It's too embedded in the economy by all sorts of things like the size of government, low productivity, demographics, and I can go on. The point is, if you say this is an adjustment, which is the inflation rate is adjusting to an exogenous shock, and will eventually reach the policy levels. But it might be a long period in the future, but not really the responsibility of monetary policy to do anything about. That is how the thing will be styled up. That's why the whole alternative doctrine uh, of uh, what caused inflation, not the, the demand side, but the supply side shock, that's how that comes into justifying a period of time which is so long for the adjustment to happen that central banks don't have to fight that fight as fiercely as they did before, and therefore the embedded rate of inflation will be higher than before. It will be 3% instead of 2%. Is this a way, do you think, politically for central banks to say, look, it's over to you governments, do something about the fiscal uh, side? Of course. Uh, and, you know, the, uh, the ECB goes on about that in every single policy meeting until words all but lo lose their meaning, which is the definition of hell, according to Robert Graves. Uh, they say, look, what really has to happen here is that the government has to make uh, the supply side uh, more efficient and demand and, and, and balance supply and demand and bring down budget deficits and so on and so on and so on, which, of course, is not really happening. But, uh, yes, it is over to them and central banks can then uh, can, can, can pause, I think, N not pause in terms of what they're actually doing, but pause in terms of relaxing about, about the fight against inflation. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.